Hello, my name's Julie McCrossan, and I was lucky enough to be in the Life Matters team as a presenter from 2000 to 2005, and the first three years with the mighty Geraldine Doog. And look, times on the show that stayed with me, I, I will always remember back in 2004, going to the far western New South Wales town of Wilcannia and doing an amazing community meeting in partnership with the local ABC at Broken Hill, and then going live on Life Matters the next day, interviewing every sort of member of that town community and surrounding properties. Well, Kenya has a very significant Aboriginal population and a myriad of problems, but also a, a wondrous mix of achievements. And it was just a a very special rural experience. And in 2005, we brought together two Vietnam veterans, a surgeon from Queensland and a psychiatrist from the United States who hadn't seen each other since they were in Vietnam 37 years before, still working doctors, and they reflected on what Vietnam had meant to them as young men and how had it, it had influenced their whole life. It was just a really in-depth encounter with two remarkable men. And another in-depth encounter was with three Afghan refugees, now high school students, way back in the 2000s in a southwestern high school called Holroyd High. They came in with their school principal, Dorothy Hodnot, a very well-known leading educationalist. And we learned about the dreams of three Afghan girls who'd managed to achieve a remarkable education and how important that is even now as we watch the girls in Afghanistan. And my favourite of many, many talkbacks was on Why Study Latin, when the Life Matters audience from across Australia came together to talk about the value of ancient history and Greek mythology and studying that very difficult language and how it underpins so much of our culture and our artistic world. And I found out that five members of the Life Matters team had all studied Latin, which is extraordinary. But my one favourite interview was with Shirley MacLaine, a well-known actor, a massive best-selling author, a passionate dog lover, as I am. And she was the star of a film called The Loudest Whisper, with Audrey Hepburn that I saw in the 1960s when I feared I was a lesbian. And it dealt with homosexuality in quite a challenging way. And it was just such a privilege to reflect with this actor as a mature woman about the way homosexuality was dealt with by Hollywood in the 1960s. So I wanna wish Life Matters a very happy 30th birthday. I think Life Matters has brought journalistic excellence and sophistication to the areas of life that really matter. Happy birthday, Life Matters. <laughs>